In this video, we're going to be looking at the relationship between the ratio of dimensions versus the ratio of the areas of similar figures. So, as we can see, we have a figure here, it's a 9 by 5, and this figure is bigger. We don't know the scale factor, but you're multiplying something by 9 to get the length, and some the same thing by 5 to get the width. So, Whatever that number you're multiplying by, that x value, is called the scale factor. So we want to know what is the relationship, or what is the scale factor for the areas. So the best way to do that would be to figure out the area of each figure. So the area of the first figure is base times height. So that is 9 times 5. So the area of the first figure is 45 units squared. I'll just say units squared since there are no units. All right, and then the second figure, the area is base times height, it's still a rectangle, and so it's 9x times 5x, so in this case, the area is 45x squared, unit squared. So, now looking at the areas of our figures, so that's the area of one figure and that's the area of the other figure. Let's just focus on the numbers actually. So 45 is the area of one and 45x squared is the area of the other. So the scale factor for the areas is x squared. So let's write that down. Oh. That handwriting is lovely, isn't it? All right. So now the question, the original question was, what is the relationship between the ratio of the parameters? And remember that the parameter is just a dimension, like 9 by 5 or um, 9 plus 9 plus 5. Those are just dimensions just like the 9 and the 5. So what is the relationship between the parameter and the area? Well, the parameter... Um, the scale factor was x, the area, the scale factor is x squared, so the area's ratio is always the square of the dimension's ratio. So let's see it in action. I'll write it down and I want us to see it in action. Okay, so here's an example that we have in black. It says the side length of one square is three times the side length of another square. And then the question is, what is the relationship between their areas? So yes, we could totally go about drawing the squares, writing down the side lengths, figuring out the area of one, figuring out the area of the other, but we don't have to. All we have to do is remember the point that is made in blue above, and that is the fact that the ratio of the areas of similar figures is always the square of the ratio of the dimensions. So since one square is three times the size of the other as far as dimensions, then their area will be three, what the area of one will be three squared times the other. So the area of the second square is actually nine times bigger than the other one. And if you don't believe me, you could test it out and so um, do a Maybe that's one by one, and the other one is three by three. And so the area of the one by one is one times one, which is one, then nine. So it is, in fact, nine times bigger in area. And there is your proof. All right, that's it.